Welcome back to the kitchen. We are making one of my absolute favorite desserts, pineapple upside down cake. A true classic. This is definitely one of my favorites because my mama used to make this all the time. I say used to because she no longer makes it because she always makes me make it because I'm old enough to do it. So she's like retired from the pineapple upside down cake. Today, I'm gonna show you the recipe that we've been making for years. This is just reminding me of childhood and it couldn't be easier. It's a classic when done right, there's nothing like it. So let's get started. <laughs> To start, we are going to add all of our cake ingredients into this bowl. This is really quick and easy. I've got some all-purpose flour. Next, I've got some granulated sugar that's going right into the bowl. Remember, when you are baking anything sweet, you gotta add the salt. It truly balances out all the sweetness and it really just adds a little bit more depth. You don't wanna just be tasting sugar. You know, a little salt helps all of your baking along. And I've got some baking powder to give this cake a nice lift. Now I'm adding in our bread ingredients. Starting with our eggs, I'm gonna add this right into our bowl. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of pineapple juice. I love tasting the pineapple, not only on that glorious, beautiful top that we're gonna make, but I also like to taste that flavor inside of the cake too. So we gotta add some pineapple juice, y'all. And then finally, we're gonna add some vanilla. Once again, I always tell y'all this in my videos, make sure you are using pure vanilla extract. Do not play around with that artificial imitation foolishness. You need the real stuff so you can get that great vanilla flavor. In the bowl we go. Now I'm just gonna whisk all of this until combined. So now we're gonna get started on creating this beautiful pineapple surprise, if you will. Uh, we need some butter. We're gonna add it to my cast iron skillet here and melt that down. We get a pineapple upside down cake. Come on and join me. <laughs> we're gonna eat it, everybody wants a slice, but you can't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love pineapple and say down cake. <laughs> so you hear that nice crackle of butter is ready. I'm gonna add in some brown sugar. Oh yeah, and put all of that into that butter. Got our brown sugar ready. You see those bubbles kind of forming on top. It's all sort of kind of caramelizing now. This is perfect to add our pineapples to. I'm gonna just place these right into our skillet. You can do this in a decorative way. You can do this any type of way, but it's gonna look gorgeous. Just remember, however you place your pineapples in the pan is how it's gonna come out. And now I'm going to add our cherries right into the middle. Finally, I'm going to pour our cake batter right on top of this. All right, that's all of it. And now it's going in the oven. So here's our cake out of the oven. You can tell that it sort of bubbled up when we added the cake batter after it was on the stove. And then you bake it until it's golden brown and delicious. Now all of that butter and that brown sugar sort of settles into it and it is incredible. Okay, so you ready to flip? About 10 minutes after it comes out, we gotta get this baby flipped. So I've got a knife here, I'm gonna go around the sides of the pan is to sort of loosen it up a little bit. So I know I would normally 
slice into this. I love it warm and basically, I don't wanna wait, so I'm just gonna, just gonna dig in. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you see that caramelized side? Mmm. <laughs> mm, that's so good. 